Um, look, with, I think the helmets have a, a, a time and a place for them. I, I think we've only been allowed, what, like three or four times to wear them, and it's all with the, the color rush jersey. We can swag it out correctly. It could be a nice little little uh, little additive. Now, for you've been around here for a while, mm -hmm. seen a few changes. Uh, has few. this offseason been big, significant change for you, or pretty much the same? Uh, this is probably as steady as it gets. I mean, we, we talk about elevating, you know, uh, our defensive coordinator to a head coach position, uh, elevating our, you know, D-line and DB coach into the assistant D coordinator roles. Um, as far as defense is concerned, I'm feeling quite confident. I mean, I hate to say it, but on paper we look good, and I only say I hate to say it because I hate how paper looks. I can't wait till we get pads on, we get those real live bullets playing, and when everybody's playing, everybody meshes, everybody does the right things, I, I hope that we'll be better than what's on paper. That being said, it's all a, we look good on paper right now. How was it for you on the other side of the mic this, this all season? Uh, which part? I mean, I'm always, I'm always doing a little bit something in the off season. We talk about um, enjoying off season, enjoying the work that we do during season. Uh, opportunities come up and you have to take advantage of them. Um, I hope I did that. I, I, I got to dabble in the XFL a couple years ago. I got to dabble with the USFL this past off season. Um, I've got to dabble with being in the Superdome uh, or in the Superdome in, in the Super Bowl, uh, doing some on the field work. I think I've I've tried to do dabble enough. Um, you know, I think what's amazing about this off season is I've done almost everything that I've wanted to do, minus be a part of a TV show. Maybe next off season. We're gearing into uh, the regular season where, you know, I'll be super focused on exactly what we want to obtain as, as a team. I think I always tell you during season, I worry about stats and everything else off season. And in off season, I'm telling you all the stats, everything that you want to hear now. So when we come in season, I'll be focused. Who's, who will be the leaders on this team? What do you mean? Who, who's going to be the late? Since, since Sean is gone. The, gra the, the greatest team. thing about this team that everybody has alluded to is the consistency within uh, the coaching positions, the consistency with, within the leadership positions. I mean, you know, you lose to Ron, but Eric McCoy has been a stalwart for our, our offensive line for a while now. So he's able to come in and be just that. Ramcheck has been here since his, his, his whole career. Um, you talk about... Jay Boo and what he's been able to do. This Jameis Winston, if y'all don't know who that is, uh, what he's been able to do since he's come here. He's been so positive the entire time, even you know when he wasn't starting his first year here, when he uh, hurt himself last year. He, his positivity, his leadership is one of those core values that you're always gonna you're always gonna cherish. You talk about AK being a leader. You talk about possibly getting Mike Thomas back healthy. I mean, if Mike T comes back healthy, that is a game changer in itself. We already added Jarvis Landry, you had Chris Olave, and then you talk about their defense, which your defense has been stacked. When you talk about Double D, Demario Davis as a leader, you talk about Chauncey, who uh, has come into his own, um, and he wants to be known more for his, his walk, and he was already walking well than his talk. I mean, when you get Chauncey to, to, to quiet down and you really focus on what he's good at, he's great at a lot of things. You talk about you bring in Tyron Matthews, uh, you have Marshawn Lattimore. We can talk about names forever. You talk about what Marcus Davenport was able to do this last year. I mean, he saw, what, 10 or 11 games. He had nine sacks in those games. He comes in healthy the entire season. I no longer have to just be by myself for the first five or six games. David Onyemata comes in um, this entire year. I'm already looking forward to what we are able to do as a defensive line. So we talk about deep, defensive line, linebackers, DBs, offensive line, wide receivers, running backs, quarterbacks. Where don't we have leadership? The question is, who's going to be leaders? If we're all leaders, who's following? We're all leading them out to, to war path. We're all going to war on the same path. We're standing shoulder to shoulder. We don't need followers. We're all leaders.